I Rebuilt Mommies and Friends. Welcome back to my channel. And hey, this may be the last video before baby Tyler gets here. Wow, y'all, we made it. We made it. We're almost there. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I am so thankful that everything has been going so smooth with this pregnancy. Every morning I wake up, I'm like, thank you, Lord, um, just for just blessing me to have such an awesome pregnancy. And so today I wanted to share with you all my 38, 39 week update. I just actually hit 39 weeks on yesterday. And so, yes, guys, um, full term. I also want to say hey and thank you to all my new Revamp Mommy subscribers. Um, I truly appreciate your support for this channel. Also, if you haven't done already, make sure that you hit that notifications bell up at the top so that whenever I release a video that you will be the first to know. So let's get right into all of these updates. Oh my goodness, I may cry. This might be the very last video. So I recently had an appointment, you know, now I'm going weekly to my OB. Um, actually, the appointment that I just previously had, I met with my midwife and um, she checked me. She, of course, she measured my belly just to kind of see where I was as far as, um, you know, growth. And then she also checked to see what the position of baby um, Tyler is. And from her exam, she said that he is head down. Um, she said that he is on my left side. And so I think it's weird because I feel like he changes and he's moving all around and stuff. But I know that he does not really have too much more room to, to really move around. So I feel like right here is something like a, a maybe his butt. But then sometimes I feel feet right here. But when I went into the went to the appointment, she said that it was like he was laying here, which is like his back is off to the side and his head is like down. She said he's not sunny side up anymore, um, but he is like kind of on my side. He's not engaged. He has not engaged yet into my pelvic area, but um, she did say that I was 75% effaced, which means that my cervix is thinning out, which is a good thing. I said, hey, I'll take it. It's progress. Um, you know and so I'm gonna to continue to do what I've been doing and I'm gonna share some of the things that I have been doing some natural um, induction remedies you know that you read about online some of them most of them probably aren't like guaranteed but you know a lot of mothers or pregnant women share different things that they've probably done to kind of help to prepare body and kind of get 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 a little closer towards that that end goal which is to have baby and so with me being 39 weeks there are some things that i've started to do one of those things um i of course i share with you all that i was I'm, I'm drinking the raspberry leaf tea i've been doing that for some time now but um i'm trying to do at least two cups a day sometimes i do sometimes i don't especially when i drink my decaf coffee because i still get my little coffee kick in but yeah I'm still drinking like the raspberry leaf tea um, I also am doing what they call like the pelvic tilts um, in which I think I shared in my other video about that when he was sunny side up because that was something that the midwife suggested that I do to try to get him to turn um, and so I it's something about this right side like he loves this right side and I'm trying even I even started sleeping on my left side to try to get him to move but hey this is this is his side. I hey, I can't. We'll see what happens whenever I go into labor. Um, and I guess the next time I go to the doctor, um, if you know, he'll be able to tell me what's going on and how he's positioned. Hopefully, he'll be able to tell me that I've dilated. I'm, you know, praying that I have dilated some. The, you know, when I go to the next appointment. Um, but another thing that I've also been doing, as far as like a natural induction remedy, I've been taking evening primrose oil, um, something that I've read about, um, watched videos on. I even asked my midwife about taking it and she approved. Um, so it's something that is supposed to kind of help, you know, thin out your cervix and prepare your body for baby. Also for any type of like, like vaginal deliveries, um, it's, it's said to kind of help you know, so you won't tear or it won't be as like painful when baby gets ready to come out. Um, so I started doing that too. Um, and you know, I'm just, I'm testing the things out. Um, and I mean, I really can't, if it don't hurt, I might as well just try it. You know, it's not a guarantee that it's working or it's going to really 
help um baby get here any sooner but i mean i feel like if it's harmless to my body and to him then why not and so another thing i've been doing also is pineapples of course some of y'all probably already heard about like eating pineapples and how the um i think it's called bromelain that's in there that's supposed to kind of help you you know your body to get ready or to it's like a natural induction remedy as well um of course uh, intimacy is another another suggestion um and so hey i'll leave that there <laughs> but yeah those are some things that i have been doing to try to help baby to you know get a move on it and i'm just praying that the next time i go into the doctor that you know he has engaged a little bit more now i've read that sometimes they don't even engage until you actually go into labor so i'm really trying to just keep myself from being stressful about anything um just being calm and relaxed i even took a bath um last week or something I just wanted to just relax and I had a book and I had my music playing and I just am I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping myself relaxed and not stressed because I, from what I've read also stress can really um, kind of just keep you from progressing um, keeping your body from progressing and so that's something that I've been trying to just keep myself calm about not stress not worry about okay when is he gonna get here I know sometimes once we get to that 39 you know 40 week people we, we get anxious you know we're ready to meet our little one we've been preparing we've been getting all this stuff together and then you know the time is just ticking and going and going but my thing is like i want to just wait i don't want to rush you know um i feel great still i still can move around um i don't feel sluggish and tired and worn or anything like that so i'm like hey it would be great if he can come early but you know it you know i'm just gonna wait on him and see what he decides to do um but of course i have to you know talking with my doctor and being that i've had a c-section before um we're just kind of still watching everything um so prayerfully i can still go for my v-back and and have that happen but you know of course if time progresses even past the 40 weeks then you know we have to start talking some other options so y'all send some prayers up for me that baby tyler will do what he needs to do <laughs> So I did have another doula appointment um, and I don't think I filled you all in on that one from my previous video because I think I was saying that she was, we were setting it up. But we did meet with her, she came over to our house um, and the appointment went well. We just talked about different techniques um, as far as labor and delivery, things that we could do. Um, she talked to both my husband and myself and just showed us even like some, some things as far as like some relaxation techniques, some techniques to kind of help us maneuver through the contractions. Um, she also shared some of like essential oils that are helpful um, during labor and delivery um, that kind of helps to just keep me calm and all of that stuff. And so she also shared with me like a birth plan. And so I did get my birth plan together. Um, she gave me some information on all of that. And so I was able to create my birth plan. I still have to, you know, run it by my doctor just to, you know, be sure that he's on board with everything that I have on there. Of course, I know with the birth plan, you know, you can plan, but you know, things can change um throughout the labor and delivery process and um that's something I, I actually didn't even call it a birth plan i called it a birth wish because i didn't want you know people nurses especially being that this is what they do um daily and it's like i don't want to come in there to sound all like no this is the way it's going to be but i'm like this is how i would prefer it to be um and it would be great if you can work with me to help me you know make this happen this way but i'm open to adjusting if i need to especially if it's um, harming you know if it will cause harm to myself or tyler i've also been making myself do a lot more walking um i haven't really been outside because y'all know this weather is just starting to warm up now and i haven't really felt the urge to like want to be outside so we do have stairs in our house and so I've been walking up and down the stairs. That's my thing. It's like I'll I'll just use my because I'm still working. So I'll just use my time from work and my you know my little break that I get, and I'll do some walking around the house, walking up and down the stairs. But that's like my fitness time, my my active time to to keep my body busy, to keep you know because of course with with trying to get baby engaged. Of course, gravity and movement helps with that. And so that's something that I've been doing a lot of walking. Let's talk about sleeping. So 
I've shared with you all that for the most part, I've been sleeping pretty well. I probably only wake up like once um, throughout the night. Um, it's every once in a while I'll get to sleep in until the, the next day. Like I'll, I'll go to bed at night and I won't wake up until the next day. But most of the time I'm waking up once um, throughout the night to go to the bathroom or to readjust myself um, with this, this pregnancy pillow that I have. I'm trying to be sure that I keep the pillow in between my legs, which is recommended to kind of keep my, my pelvic area open um, and to, you know, just try to sleep with in the, in the proper position so that baby can, you know, get into the position that he needs to get into. I'm just trying to be mindful of those things when I sleep. They're not a hindrance to my sleep. Once I get comfortable, I'm good. It's just that initial laying down, um, that kind of, I have to get adjusted. And then once I'm in a comfortable position then I'm good to go, but I do wake up throughout the night and I go to the bathroom. And then once I'm up, it's like I have insomnia or something like I, I can't just go right back to sleep. So sometimes I'll be on my phone, you know, just looking at stuff or reading something until I'm able to just get ready to go back to sleep. And then once I go to sleep, I'm good until the next day. But sleeping is not really, I wouldn't say it's like an issue for me, but it is an, an adjustment, something that, you know, I have to get used to. And hey, I mean, you're, once Tyler gets here, it would be great if he would be a nighttime sleeper. Hey, that's what I would like. And I feel like he kind of is right now, but you never know once they get here how they're gonna be. But um, like, I, I, I kind of see it this way. I'm gonna probably be up with him, you know, nursing him, tending to him. So it's kind of like I'm already used to waking up in the middle of the night. So once he gets here, I, you know, at least I will already kind of know what that feels like. <laughs> so something I'm gonna share with you all, I do feel like there have been moments of where I've been kind of emotional. Um, I'll watch a movie <laughs> and, and it just, the ending just captures me or I'll read something or, you know, scrolling on the internet, looking at something on social media and I get emotional, you all, and I'll start crying and that's not really me. Like I don't just, I'm just not like a, a cry baby, cry baby. <laughs> So I've just noticed that about myself, like I've been crying a whole lot just about, you know, when I, whenever I watch something. As far as like kind of dealing with emotions and getting in my feelings and stuff like that, I really try my best to not give into my feelings and emotions, but sometimes, you know, it happens and so um, it can be challenging sometimes, definitely with my, you know, my husband or with my daughter and I try to just try my best to to avoid those emotions but I can't say that you know I am like always successful at that you know I do have moments um, I do kind of get frustrated sometimes but um, I'm really trying to keep a rein on those things because they're not healthy you know for me for my family you know it's not it's not healthy to to even go down that road something else I'm glad about throughout this pregnancy is that I don't have any swelling and I, my blood pressure has been great. Um, there's no swelling in my feet. My, my shoe size is still an eight and a half. Um, I'm still able to wear my, my wedding rings. Um, yeah, and, and I don't feel like I've gained a lot of like well, swelling or in my face area as well. So that's something that I'm definitely grateful about. Um, just, just, a, just been a blessed pregnancy. If I had to share one thing that I was most nervous about, with Tyler almost getting here, um, it would probably just be the unknown of the adjustment that I'm gonna have to make with going from a mom, being a mom of one to a mom of two, and also a wife, and just kind of, you know, making sure that I divide that time to each person, um, cause they're gonna need, each of them are going to need attention from me. Like Tyler, he's gonna be like right on me because of course I'm planning to exclusively, start off exclusively nursing him. And so he's gonna probably be getting more of all, you know, more of the attention out of my husband and my daughter. However, I still want to make sure that I keep, you know, them in mind. I spend the necessary time still with them. Um, but I think if, if I were nervous about something, it would probably be that, um, just making sure that I'm able to still balance my time and not only, um, them, but also for myself, you know, so that's like really four people that, um, I'm going to be, you know, disposing myself to me, my husband, my daughter, and then Tyler. And so, 
um, that's something that I would say I'm probably most nervous about but um, at the same time I know where my strength comes from it definitely comes from God um, and what I have to make sure that I do for myself is of course going back to the emotions not allowing myself to get in my emotions um, and not just not allowing myself to become overwhelmed because I know that can easily happen when you feel like you're just giving out giving out and giving out and you're really not getting anything in and so I have to make sure that the, the thing that I need to put it within me of course is um, just still time for God of course ultimately he needs my my time first before anybody and so I know with that like if I can make sure that I stay on top of that um, I know he'll give me strength to be able to take care of the four, <laughs> including myself. So I have been preparing home for baby. I can say that um, everything is done. There's one more thing, everything as far as like home is, is done and taken care of. Tyler's room is all set, his clothes are washed and in the dresser, um, his diapers are well stocked. Everything in his room is good to go. Everything in our room is great. We got his bassinet in there because he's going to start off sleeping in our room first. And so we already have his bassinet in there, his bottles, um, in which I, I don't know how soon he will, you know, take a bottle. If, if I don't know how soon I'm going to give him a bottle, but I've already washed all of his bottles, you know, all of the accessories for that stuff. It's all in place. And so that was something that I wanted to do leading up to this week that we're, we're in now is just make sure everything is good to go. That way I can just relax and kind of just you know mentally prepare spiritually prepare as well um for him to get here so i don't have you know to be doing all of that type of stuff so i'm, I'm glad that i kind of got ahead on all of that type of stuff um that way i won't feel overwhelmed in this almost final week and i can also spend more time with taylor and, and kind of just you know play with her spend a little time with her i'm also trying to teach her some you know her letters and her numbers and trying to you know just help her with all of that stuff so this, that's time that I can have with her in these last final days. <laughs> now, what I want to do is show you this big old belly. All right, guys, here we go. Whew. So, Tyler, he's sitting here. Here he goes. All right. All right. See, I don't know if y'all can see, but I feel like he's gotten a little bit lower. I'll stand up. He's kind of sticking out more too, as you can see. But it's just the belly. So really that's all that's going on at this moment with my 38, 39 week update. I'm looking forward to going to the doctor um, this week just to see what's going on. Hopefully some changes have taken place. Um, if not, I'm definitely going to keep myself from stressing about it and just trust God. God already knows exactly when he needs to send this little baby boy into this world. So I'm just going to pray, continue to pray that, you know, he's healthy. I'm healthy throughout the labor and delivery um, and just believe God for this feedback. And so I definitely solicit your prayers. Like I said, this might be the last video. The next one that you will see, um, however, will be a what's in my hospital bag video. So I'll be releasing that soon. But as far as like the pregnancy update video, um, if he decides not to come, I may try to go ahead and squeeze another one in from the, so I can kind of just update you all on this next appointment that I'm going to go to. But if not, just stay tuned because I will be sharing a birth story once he gets here. I'm so excited. Um, just, you know, for all of that. But yeah, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you have not done all, done so already, I can't talk. If you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications button up at the top so that you can know when I release a video. And like always, my people, make sure that you keep that revamp going. All right, until next time, bye.